Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be seeing about how to integrate Smart PSS Lite with MySQL. The latest version of uh, my uh, Smart PSS Lite supports MySQL integration. So currently, I have installed uh, uh, Smart PSS Lite, and uh, the version number is over here. The build date is 13th of October 2023. So, and uh, this supports MySQL integration, which we can see over tripart uh, triparty database config. So I have installed the uh, BAM server, so which has uh, MySQL in it. So let me click on this, and you can see MySQL is installed and it's running already. And I am I have installed DBWare, which is a my uh, which is a SQL client, and I have added the uh, MySQL uh, to it. So currently, uh, there is only system database over here, and we don't have any other database. I'll create a new database for uh, to integrate with uh, to integrate uh, Smart PSS Lite with uh, MySQL. So I'll click on right click. I'll right click and click on create new database, and I'll enter um, Smart PSS Lite. And I'll click on OK. So now we have a database created with uh, no tables in it. So I, you can see the table. Um, there are no tables over here. So I have added a face terminal onto this device ASI 3214A W, and I have given the necessary permissions and I have enabled the, the attendance checkpoint for this device. So let's integrate. So we can just click on this settings button and click on tripartite database config and uh, you can MySQL server and smart pieces light are on the same PC. So I'll use localhost as my uh, IP address 192. Dot, uh, sorry 127.0.0.1 and database name is smart pss light and I'll enter the username and uh, password and I'll click on connection test so it says the database connection was successful that means smart pieces light can communicate with MySQL so I'll enable the database I'll enable this toggle button and uh, let me save so successfully save the database configuration so that means the tables are automatically created you can see uh, over here i'll refresh this so and uh, in the expand the table we can see a table called attendance record info is created and uh, we should be able to see various columns in it so it's this made our uh, work a bit easier. The tables were created automatically along with the columns. And now it's time for testing. So let me uh, uh, open Access Manager and let me show my face on the device. So it got verified. So we can see at uh, 20th of uh, October 2023 at 9.28. Uh, and uh, 45 second an attendance log is created and uh, let me refresh this and we can see uh, attendance log created mentioning my name the card which I enrolled so currently I have shown my face to un uh, unlock not my card whereas I have already enrolled a card on using my name itself and uh, we can see the attendance date and time, attendance date, and uh, device IP address, device name, snapshot path, and even the person ID is in the front. So the date and time is appears to be in standard uh, format, which is not readable. It's like uh, 1,697 blah blah or something so this using programming language like the developers can convert this uh, time to a readable date and time 
for simplicity i will just uh, use it online tool to convert this to a standard actual readable date and time i'll just copy this and i'll use this tool called epoch converter i'll paste this uh, value over here and i'll click timestamp to human date and you can see 20th of october 2023 at uh, 92845 so that's what we see over here Twentieth of October, twenty twenty-three, nine twenty-eight, uh, forty-five. So that's it. The database integration is quite easy and simple. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.